Coming up here on Warriors Today by Chad Sports, we've got a new report in that Clay Thompson could either be leaving the Bay Area or could still re-sign with the Warriors. So if you guys want Clay Thompson to stay in the Bay Area, you are going to have to be all hands on deck like this video. You never know what Clay Thompson's doing in his offseason. If he gets on YouTube, I hope he's able to find this video, see over 500 likes that they want Clay to stay. Go on ahead and like this video. The Athletic Sham Shrinia did report that there is mutual interest between Clay Thompson and the Orlando Magic, which is exactly what we're going to break down here, go into the ins and outs of the report and talk about what it would look like if Clay Thompson were to leave the Golden State Warriors and can they even afford what Clay Thompson is wanting. We're going to talk about that on Warriors today by Chad Sports. You got Ali Barefoot here, but let's go on ahead and dive into what Shams had to say on Run It Back TV about Clay Thompson. The Magic can open up an excess of $60 million in cap space this offseason. So there are going to be players in free agency and other moves that can be made, but you got to look at scoring. When I think of scoring, I think of Klay Thompson. And Shams went on to say in Game 7, obviously they struggled a little bit to score the ball, especially in the second half of the game when the Cavs and Donovan Mitchell kept coming for them. So you look at the point guard position, but also shooting and scoring on the wing. One name to keep an eye on is Clay Thompson. I'm told there is mutual interest between the Magic and Thompson, along with several other veterans around the league, are looking at the Magic as a situation where if you plug a guy like Clay Thompson, plug in any other veteran player, whether it be the point guard position or the shooting guard position, this team can make a real jump around Paolo Banquero and Franz Wagner. So the Magic did average the fewest three-pointers made and ranked 24th in three-point percentage in the NBA through the regular season. Obviously, scoring is not their big strength, but because they do have really good resources like Paolo that they can go on ahead and build around is why I think Klay Thompson could end up really having a good offer from the Orlando Magic heading in closer to NBA free agency because you got to look at what Thompson can offer the Magic. They're a very young team. They have a lot of guys that have a lot of potential in the next couple of years, but maybe when you bring in a veteran that's shooting upwards of 39% from the three-point line, because when I think of three-point shooting, I'm thinking of the Splash Brothers. And since Steph Curry's not available, why not go get the other brother who is available and also has that leadership veteran experience that they're looking for with numerous rings on his finger from winning championships in the Bay Area. But overall... It's going to depend on the Orlando Magic, what they're looking for, what they can offer, because Clay could be looking to start in Orlando, which they could give him that opportunity. Whereas when you saw him with the Warriors this season, he started, then he got benched. Then he started again, then he got benched. They could offer him possibly a six-man-of-the-year type of, type of role with the Warriors next year, but I don't know how much money they can offer him. You just saw what, what Sean said. The Magic have money to give, and if they're looking to give it to a veteran, Clay Thompson's definitely got to be in the top two, top three of that conversation heading into free agency. Because if I'm looking at this roster and I'm looking at this starting five, Clay Thompson elevates this shooting ten times when you have somebody like Jalen Suggs, you got somebody like Paolo, you got Franz, Wendell Carter Jr., the center position is already filled, but you need a depth on that wing. You need scoring in that wing. So with that being said, seeing what Klay Thompson has done over the last decade, yes, he may not be the same player he was throughout the decade, but he still has enough gas left in the tank, which we saw that for the Warriors from All-Star break on, that he could elevate this starting five immediately. But the question is, do you think Klay is going to sign with another NBA team? He's already voiced back in February, he's open to taking a smaller role. But then towards May and April, he started to say, you know what? I'm just going to let the front office deal with it. I just hope it's best for me. So with that being said, do you think he's going to end up signing with another team? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I'm going to break down what Klay Thompson could look like if the Warriors do not re-sign him. But with that being said, i got to give a huge shout-out to our sponsor on Warriors Today by Chat Sports. Of course, it's Prize Picks. I'm playing it. Here's why you guys should, too. It's super easy. All you have to do is pick between two to six players and just pick more or less on a player's projected stats. I'm not kidding you. I'm not lying. It is truly that easy. This pick actually took me 
about 30 seconds to cook up. Why? Because I love the popular section on this ad. You can go into numerous categories here, numerous sports. You can go NBA, MLB, NHL playoffs are also happening right now. And there are several categories. You can go rebounds, rebounds and assists, goals, made three-pointers throughout several different sporting events. But with basketball, there's also a popular tab. And I love to see what everybody in America is choosing since this is number one daily fantasy sports app in America. If you are going to win for the Knicks, it's going to start with Jalen Brunson. I have to take them more. 48 points, rebounds, and assists? Absolutely. Plus, Anthony Edwards is showing up the Joker right now and the reigning NBA champ. So I'm going Ant to have more than 40.5 points, rebounds, and assists as well. Plus, these are two star players. So if this entry wins, it's going to increase my payout by 10% per star player. So I'm going to always pick the more. That's just how I play. You can always copy me or you can make your own. If you guys like to go more or less, that's fine. But all you guys have to do to make your picks, go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS for a first time deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It is truly that easy to watch yourself win some real money in real time. Let's talk about money, shall we? Let's talk about the money the Warriors have or don't have, and let's talk about what the Orlando Magic could possibly offer Klay Thompson. He made over $40 million this last year. I know he said he's open to taking a smaller role, but how big of a pay cut is Klay Thompson willing to take just to stay with the Warriors and possibly not even start? You just saw the Magic has over $60 million in cap space. They could offer him a max contract of something upwards of two years, umpteen million dollars in those in that span of time so with that being said now knowing the magic is interested in clay thompson if i'm clay i'm going back to the front office talking to lake up and i'm talking to Levy, saying hey this team wants me this team is willing to give me this much what can you give me what can i do i don't want it to come to that because i think clay has meant more to the warriors organization in the last decade than most players are for their franchise but it is also a business. So if Clay has to go to the front office and say, I've got this much of an offer from Orlando, what can you offer me? Clay may end up going with Orlando just because the Warriors financially cannot afford what he may be looking for. We don't know what it is just yet, but we do know that the Magic are also looking at other veterans around the league. So this is not a we want Clay or nothing. They're looking to add some veteran leadership, but also to add some scoring and some playmaking on the side since they got knocked out in the first round of the NBA playoffs. So rumors have shown that they're looking at other possible free agents if some people decline their player option, some people have team options. But here are some top players they're also looking at, and you can see where the veteran pattern is happening. You got Harden and Paul George, LeBron James, Pascal Siakam as well, who's now playing for the Pacers. So as you can see here, Paul George, yeah, you can put him on the wing here. You got LeBron James, more of a power forward. Pascal Siakam, kind of the same thing. So James Harden and Paul George are probably going to be your best bets when you're looking for some scoring there in terms of that shooting guard and that wing position. But Clay would be a gamble in Orlando. He would, because if it's my if it's my opinion, I'm probably going to try to get Paul George over anybody here in free agency. But he still does have to decline that player option. And with Clay Thompson, there is some non-guaranteed parts of his game. That could be coming to the Magic. It's unfortunate to say, but he is not the same 3 and D player that the Warriors have saw the last decade. I wouldn't be either if I went through several major injuries and surgeries to continue playing the game I love. So Orlando could be running a risk here of paying him a two-year two deal, a max contract, whatever they want to give Klay Thompson, and he ends up showing up, sometimes not showing up, sometimes missing games, sometimes playing like he did for the Warriors this past year. There's a reason why he ended up coming off the bench for the Warriors. It's because he wasn't producing starting numbers. When he started getting his game back, that's when Steve Kerr put him back in the starting lineup. So he could still be on a streaky season for the Magic, and that's something they're going to have to risk. Same thing for the Warriors. But there is no new indications that Clay wants to leave the Golden State Warriors. We remember back in February, he said, I'd be okay taking a smaller role. But then he also said in April, ahead of his last game, look, I'm just proud of what I did in a Warriors uniform. Whatever happens, man, I don't have to make a decision until July 1st. So he hasn't had anything new come out. But the Golden State Warriors have also said we're not looking to hit our salary tax apron. We do not want to have the highest payroll in the NBA anymore. They're trying to shed some salaries while making the best movements 
for the Warriors in the offseason. So, Golden State may not be able to afford Klay Thompson with what he wants. Here's what he said ahead of his last game in a Golden State Warriors uniform, potentially in that play-in game. He said, look, that's life, man. When he was asked, do you feel sorrowful? Do you feel very emotional about this possibly being your last game as a Warrior? He said, I had so much success here. I'm not going to let whatever in the future happens make me salty about what I've been able to accomplish in the Warriors uniform. I don't let that seep in at all. Clay Thompson, that last quote made me feel like, all right, now he's finally kind of gotten past the emotional side of it, and now he's got that business mindset of whatever happens, I got to do what's best for me, for my future. He's got to start earning money for the retirement, for the offseason. And I do think it's going to be unfortunate if now the, the Magic, who are contenders to get Clay Thompson, can offer more than the Warriors can because overall, it is a business. But with that being said, I know Dub Nation and their fans run deep. And I understand that the Splash Brothers have been a staple in the Bay Area for 10 plus years. Do you guys think, regardless if he signs with another team, do you think Clay is a warrior for life? There have been several players who have jumped ship towards the end of their career, but still, you look at Michael Jordan. He's still a Chicago Bull, despite him going to play baseball and coming back in the league and playing with a different team. So, like this video if you think Clay Thompson is a warrior for life, despite what is about to happen in this offseason. And with that being said, if something does happen in the offseason, we're going to talk about it right here on Warriors Today by Chat Sports. I don't want you guys to miss a thing. Hit that sub button for me.